Hello dear students good afternoon to all of you and welcome in our biology session so we are discussing what circulatory system and from the circulatory system today we have reached to the most important and the last point that is nothing but what circulation of blood it means what how exactly the circulation of the blood is happens in our body okay so let's discuss before going to see that discussion i will again tell you the different parts of the heart that are what this is right auricle this is right ventricle this is left auricle this is left ventricle this is aorta and this is also what aorta okay so now let's discuss with the help of this all these different chambers how the blood get transported or how the blood get circulated throughout the body okay so pumping action of the blood pumping action of the heart starts the contraction of with the help of its wall okay pumping action of heart starts the contraction of its muscular wall okay the pumping action of the heart it starts with the help of their muscular wall okay so their muscular wall get contract and because of that what happened the blood can get pumps out okay so the pumping action of heart starts by the contraction of its muscular wall okay so the pumping action means what the blood comes out because of the contraction of the walls of the heart and as we know the contraction and the relaxation of the heart is continuous throughout the life okay and because of that only the contraction and the relaxation of the heart the circulation of blood is going on in the body okay so from the right auricles receive carbon dioxide rich blood okay we can say that what deoxygenated blood or also we can say that what impure blood okay so the right auricles receive co2 rich blood we can say that what carbon dioxide rich blood which is also called as deoxygenated d means what it doesn't contain oxygen oxygen is removed from that that is what d oxygenated blood or also it is called as what impure blood okay so that right, uh, right auricles receive the deoxygenated blood or impure blood or the blood which is rich in what carbon dioxide from the two major veins okay from the two major veins which are situated to the front and the back side of the heart okay which are situated to the anterior and the posterior side of the heart that means what the uh, front and the back side of the heart okay next one is that so here in the right auricles which blood comes that is what carbon dioxide rich blood comes that is what co2 rich blood impure blood or deoxygenated blood okay so from the right auricles the blood comes into the right ventricles okay right from right auricles to the right ventricles from the right auricles the blood comes into the right ventricles and from the right ventricles it goes to the lungs okay from the right auricles it comes into the left ventricles and from the left ventricles it transported to the lungs with the help of the pulmonary artery with the help of the pulmonary artery okay so see we have discussed the arteries and the veins what we have discussed in that arteries are the blood vessels which carries the oxygenated blood okay means the blood which is rich in oxygen but for that condition one exception was there that is what pulmonary artery why the pulmonary artery is exception for that because from the right auricles the blood reaches to the right ventricles with the and after that it reaches to the lungs with the help of what pulmonary artery it means what the pulmonary artery transported carbon dioxide rich blood okay the pulmonary artery transported what carbon dioxide rich blood okay so now the blood comes into the lungs with the help of the pulmonary artery from right ventricles from the right ventricles the blood now enters into the lungs with the help of the pulmonary artery so in the lungs the exchange of the gases is happens and these co2 rich blood this deoxygenated blood now get converted into oxygenated blood okay we can say that what 
impure blood now get converted into the pure blood in the lungs okay so the lungs turns the impure blood to pure blood which is also called as what oxygenated blood so the exchange of gases happens in the lungs and the carbon dioxide rich blood get converted into the oxygen rich blood that is what deoxygenated blood get converted into the oxygenated blood okay next one that oxygenated blood reaches to the left auricle so that now from the lungs the oxygenated blood reaches to the left auricles and from the left auricles it receives oxygenated blood reaches to the left auricles through the pulmonary vein okay through the pulmonary vein okay so see vein transported what carbon dioxide rich blood okay but for that condition also one exception was there that is what pulmonary vein why because this pulmonary vein carries the oxygen rich blood from lungs to the left auricle from lungs to the left auricle from the lungs the oxygenated blood transported to the left auricles with the help of the pulmonary vein okay and after that from the left auricles the blood comes into the left ventricles from the left auricles the blood comes into the left ventricles and from the left ventricles the oxygenated blood is pumped into an aorta and that aorta is what largest artery okay so from the left ventricle the oxygenated blood is get pumped with the help of what aorta into an pump into an aorta and with the help of that aorta that oxygenated blood get transported throughout the body to the different parts of the body okay so in this way we can say that what which is the largest artery in the blood and is supplied to the all the body parts okay so this oxygenated blood is pumped into an aorta and that aorta is the largest artery and with the help of that aorta the blood can get supplied to the different parts of the body okay so in this way the circulation of the blood is happen so this is the circulation of the blood happens in the body so now i will draw the one systematic diagram of the circulation of the blood which will help us to understand exactly how the circulation of the blood happens in our body so with the help of this systematic diagram or the diagrammatic representation we can understand that how the blood gets circulated in the body okay so see this is what right auricle so the right auricle receives the blood from the two main vein which is called as what vena cava okay so it receives the carbon dioxide rich blood from the right auricles that co2 rich blood comes into the right ventricles with the help of the pulmonary artery the co2 rich blood comes into the lungs in the lungs the purification of the blood is happen then with the help of the pulmonary vein the oxygenated blood comes into the left auricles with the le le left auricles it get transported to the left ventricles from the left ventricles the oxygenated blood, blood get transported to the aorta and with the help of the aorta it get transported to the different body parts okay oxygenation here i will write the one word which is very important that is what oxygenation oxygenation means what the blood get converted into oxygenated blood okay so this is about what transportation of the blood okay how the blood get circulated into the different parts of the heart okay right auricles right ventricles right auricles then right ventricles with the help of the pulmonary comes to the lungs with the help of the pulmonary vein goes to the left auricles then left ventricles aorta and two different body parts okay so this is all about today this diagram you have to draw in your biology notebook here we will stop we will meet in the next video with the next point and for today thank you